Alrighty guys, so this is going to be a day two update. I'm doing it in the third day because I wanted to go get some uh, sleep. Obviously, uh, we've had a couple of big days. I wanted to, you know, get a good 10 hour sleep or something like that. So it's the end of the uh, second day or start of the third day, whichever way you want to look at it. I haven't done any maps yet. Uh, we are level 90. Uh, we've got our six link cherubims already, which is great using the new uh, corrupted linking method, which is so easy, like wow. Uh, anyway, we've got a six link up and running. Um, there is one difference here. I am using a damage on full life support. That's because because this thing is corrupted. I wanted to get the correct colors just in case it failed. Like I wasn't sure how good it was going to be. But basically, um, while I'm leveling an empower, which I bought early, which is probably not the greatest idea, I am now leveling a damage on full life support just while I wait. This thing is not 100% consistent, so I don't only really add it to a POP, but it will deal damage, and we do happen to have a crazy high amount of like recovery rates on kill and stuff like that. So usually it's fine while we're mapping. Um, it's an okay gem link, it's fine. We're still using, um, you know, our level 21 strapped boots, which I'll hopefully be upgrading today at some point. Just life and res gear. There's literally nothing special. Our rings are good. You'll notice there's no minus mana cost or anything like that. Um, this is literally gear I found in the leveling process and just the toxic rain enchant is also not necessary guys, by the way. But yeah, we're doing everything in the game, red maps included on junk gear. Um, no, uh, no jewels, no gems on the tree or anything like that. So 100%. Easy mode, way to six, uh, T16s. I will go over quickly what the changes were. Um, so there's the Ballista Totems and then there's basically the Reservation Mastery. I went and grabbed this early for four points and then we get the Mana Efficiency here. I just did that to fit my Grace in much earlier. This is because of the Scourge mechanic where I thought this thing's a little bit rippier than I would like. I actually want more evasion early on. And basically after that, all we're doing is just grabbing a few extra life nodes. We're about to grab this wheel here. There's recovery on kill over here if we really need it. Um, yeah, there's more life nodes here. We're pretty much uh, at the point where, you know, we're going to get our cluster jewel set up soon. And then we're just going to start going for more damage. And then we're just going to keep some as many life nodes as we can. So the build is performing extremely satisfactory. A um, couple of tips for everyone though. Uh, first thing you want to do when you hit maps, if you haven't already, is roll your enduring mana flask. That is like the number one thing. I, I should have probably, I'm going to add this in the notes after this, but essentially when you get to maps, your first priority is use up all those alterations you probably haven't been using during the leveling campaign. You should have like 60 or something like that. I always tend to have a lot. And the first thing you're going to want to do is get an enduring eternal mana flask. It doesn't have to be a warding. That was just kind of, it actually rolled with that. And uh, after that, you're probably going to want a instant life flask of sealing. So this is basically the new Corrupting Blood one. They've changed the name on it, but an instant life flask of sealing. And if you can, this is not necessary, a good Quicksilver, right? Either reduce charges with a uh, movement speed or a, uh, what's this one? I can't even remember what this thing's called, man. But anyway, like the increased effect, reduced duration thing or whatever. It's a really good flask. It makes me very, very quick. You know what I mean? So it's quite nice. Movement speed is key. <sighs> I don't have to go off. Anyway, uh, the only other upgrade I could possibly get right now is... Uh, if I get some better res rolls on my boots and gloves, I'm, you know, could swap this for a Devoto's Devotion, and then I would be even faster, even more attack speed, and have some Chaos Res on top. That's pretty much uh, what I would end day, uh, day two with. And then obviously there's Hunter pieces that I'm gonna be re-rolling in the background. And then obviously once I hit them, you know, we're pretty much zooming. We only gotta hit a Hunter base on this and a Hunter base on this. And we are actually pretty much done with the gearing process for T16 maps and Cyrus. Then after that, there's the bow, the cluster, and a few other bits and pieces that will uh, really push us into the end game very comfortably. But I just wanted to give you guys like a uh, day two update on what I did with the build, what I've changed so far, uh, what I recommend you guys do, uh, just sort of based on the changes. Uh, anything else I need to go over? I think that's pretty much it, guys. So for day two, we're already level 90. We're already smashing all the content. Um, Build is performing exactly the way I remember it, uh, if not better. I actually felt like during the le uh, leveling process, it was so, so nice. Such quality of life. Like we even have phasing now, so you can't really get stuck anymore, thanks to this node. So um, yeah, the build is performing great, guys. Um, if you're stuck and you're having trouble, pop on over to the stream and I'll try and help you out as much as I can. But uh, if not, peace out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.